Christmas came early in Boulder this year because already two games in the season, we're here back-to-back -back weeks. You yep. can feel the excitement yep. around Colorado right now. And, and right here's here, so. the Buffs up four spots this week. They're now number 18 in the AP poll. Last time Colorado won a conference title, 2001, when they were then a member of the Big 12, which they'll be a member of next year. Brady, is it realistic? Here we are. I know, I know it's week three. <laughs> know, is it realistic to say that Colorado can contend for their first ever Pac-12 title? Yes, and here's why. They've got three things working in their favor. The first is they have a legit quarterback in Shador Sanders, who's already a Heisman candidate. They're going to get the 3-0, and and we'll see as they continue to build. The next thing is they have playmakers on the outside. It's highlighted by Travis Hunter, but they've got a deep roster of wide receivers who can beat you one-on-one -on -one and make plays down the field. And the last thing is, Coach, their coaching staff. This is a group that will not put their players in a bad position. Agreed. They work to their strengths. Yep. Mark, they stay away from those weaknesses, so they're always going to have a chance in every game they play. I agree with you. I think they can compete and score with anyone in the Pac-12 because of Shadur Sanders, because of the playmakers. And the coaching to player dynamic in that locker room is very special. But the only thing I have areas of concern is, is in the trenches, both yeah. offensive and defensive lines. They've been giving up 242 yards per game rushing on defense while only rushing for 56 yards per game on offense. So if they want to – there's some real big dogs in the Pac-12 <laughs> this year. So if they want to compete against them big dogs, they're going to have to continue to improve and solidify the trenches on both the offensive and defensive lines. And, and we're going to find out about, about that in a couple of weeks when they get Oregon and USC back-to-back. But – contenders, really good football teams, as we know, they have one thing in common. They find different ways to win football games. We saw it here last week. Defense stepped up, forced those four turnovers. As the second half, the offense started to get going. The first game we saw Shador and that offense win in a shootout. So good football teams find multiple ways to win. Also, guys, the coach prime effect, just in general, on this campus and this team, is a real thing. We've been on great football teams. This team, every time they walk on the field on game day, they have a belief, coach, that they can go out and win a game. That is real. Yes, We've sir. all been a part of that. Yes, sir. I'm pumping the brakes a little bit. You know, I'm <laughs> all in the, the brakes, prime coach. here. Coach, but on. everyone at this table has been, been a part of a championship. Think about that. And the one word I have to say is depth. I was at practice a month ago. When that first team came off the field, the second team came in, drastic drop-off, mm. especially at quarterback. Mm. They're getting ready to go to Eugene, Oregon. They're going to play USC. That's real. Yeah. The, they're going to not be matched up well in the trenches, like you said. So if they can stay healthy, I'm saying they can at least compete for a championship. If they get dinged, which I hate to say, that's going to happen. Yeah. Anytime you compete for a championship, especially, how about this, in the rugged Pac-12. Yeah. <laughs> the Pac-12 is the rugged The deepest this year. conference yeah. in college football. No messing around the Pac-12 this year. By the way, the, the wideout, Xavier Weaver, this quote, and it kind of goes to your <clears throat> point, Matt. It's everybody's Super Bowl when they play CU. <laughs> Things which, that were not said wild. just not days ago, right? They, they were everyone's bye last year. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.